the star of Yaakov. How is it and how does it fulfill the prophecy concerning the star of Yaakov? By the 12 star sign and the 12 tribes of Israel. Speaking right here about the star of Yaakov or the star of Jacob. The star of Jacob that we have in this um, particular Torah portion right here known as Balak, right? the 40th RSS. How is that the fulfillment of the star of Yaakov? What is the Magen Dawid, right? or the Magen David? The so-called six-pointed star has been popularly called the Magen David. Right? And we see in the scripture where it says, where David says that the Lord is my shield. He's identifying the Lord as his shield. Did David have a six-pointed um, star as a shield? He could have. Did he have the six-pointed star on his shield? He could have. But what is very clear is that we have a prophecy right here, right, concerning what we call and what the scripture calls the star of Jacob, that a star, right, we have this in Numbers right here. Let's bring this up, Numbers 24 and 17, and we have it right here where it says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star. There shall come a what? There shall come a kokab, a kawakab, a kokab, right? a star. They say a star as round or as shining. A star also figuratively, notice this right here, a star figuratively refers to, bring that up right there. So we have kokab. What is the star right, of Jacob? Right? Is the so-called six-pointed star right, the star of Yaakov? Right? You know this right here from the Hanukkah and from the menorah and the, the arrangement when viewed from like a top-down view of the menorah. We can see this. In fact, this is actually, we see this in a lot, in a lot of ancient Right, and pre-modern so-called Jewish um, sculpture and art, we see the star, or what's called often commonly the star of David, shown in this orientation. It's very interesting how we view it, right? Because if one view it like this, one might not identify it, you know, immediately. And then we also have this symbol as well right here. But let's bring this up right here for this Torah portion. We're in this Torah portion right here. How does this star, according to what is found here in this Pasha right here, we have Kokeb, Kowokeb, Kawakeb, Kokeb, a star as round or as shining. Kokeb, Kawakeb, right? A prince. Mmm. Interesting. A prince, probably from the sense of, they say, um, Carbon. They say the hill, Carbon, a hill. In Israel, Kabon, and we have Kawa, Kawa or Kava, which means to prick, to penetrate, to blister, to smart, or eating into something. The idea is like burning, right? Something like burning right there. Interesting, the idea that we have as we go into the word, right? As we study the word, you know, the Masoretic Hebrew, and then also connected with the pure language and the Gutters and the Royal and Hark of the Book of the Seven Seals. Because weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So we have it right there, the Kokep. All right, so it's very clear. Now, this right here among the Falashim, the Beta Israel of Ethiopia, right, we have this, this is prior. We find that this, this um, use of what is called often the Star of David has been used prior to when it was adopted by the Jews who call themselves Jews or the European Jews. So everyone will look at the Western Gentile tradition, but they won't go to the roots. We're going to get to go to the roots, y'all willing, to the roots, all right? Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals 
thereof. So we're going to take a, a, a really good look, right, as we look at this right here, some of the word art right here. I think that this one is very persuasive right here. This is very persuasive, but we're going to look more at this Torah portion, right, look over here. Look more at this Torah portion right here and the connection with the star of Yaakov. Right? What is the star of Yaakov? Right? Is the star of Jacob? Right? In, in the star of Jacob, do we have what is called the six pointed star? Is there a connection to the lion of the tribe of Judah? Wait, we see yea. Right? We say yea and amen. Let's do this right here. Let's read through this verse. Because we're looking at the time, we got a couple of minutes, you know, this is how it goes, you know what I mean? Sometimes not enough time, but we still use the time that we have as wisely as possible. So, so right here, let's tighten this up so we can see the whole verse. Numbers 24, all right, Numbers 24, and Numbers 24 and 17. This is that, that Balaam, that prophet that was given to Bela'am, interesting, to Bela'am. Strange irony about this. The one that was supposed to curse is Arayel. Actually, Jah puts this word of prophecy in his mouth where he says, I shall see him. Notice the prince, Kawakeb, Kokeb, what the meaning of Kokeb was, right? The H3556. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him. We not behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. I shall behold him. But not nigh, there shall come a star, a koakeb, a kokeb, out of Yaakov, out of Jacob. There shall come a what out of Jacob? A star out of Jacob. Remember the meaning of the star? Star, round, shining, also in the figurative sense, a prince, right? Lich tefari, right? Lich tefari, that prince, that man child. That man child of prophecy, of revelation, the womb man of apocalypse, who is clothed with the sun, Ethiopia, 13 months of what? Sunshine, clothed with the sun, moon at her feet, right? Giving birth to that man child. And that sign, right? That sign of the son of man seen in the heaven at the birth of the man child in 1892. All right, so here we add what, 124, right? 124 anniversary of that fulfillment, right? Of prophecy. So we're going forward to news, the glorious gospel, right? Of the King of Kings and announce that birth of the man child. Once again, Numbers 24 and 17. Right, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Yaakov. What is that star out of Yaakov? Is the star, so-called star of David, more properly the star out of Jacob? And a scepter, and a scepter. What is that scepter? That shebet, that skion, that stick. Right? Literally for, for punishing, riding, fighting, ruling, walking. Or in a figurative sense, it represents a clan. We not behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open a book and loose the seven seals thereof. And a scepter shall rise.